Okay, I said I would do some still photos, but I decided to, uh, to use the, break out the GoPro and just use that uh, to show you the latest uh, DJI 450 build. Um, this isn't the original DJI frame. I found this on eBay. Um, the the highest bid was twelve dollars. I thought I'd pay fifteen bucks for it, but I probably won't win. But I did. So this is a fifteen dollar uh, DJI uh, F450 knockoff frame. Uh, note that I didn't want to use any other type of landing gear, so I improvised and used ballpoint pens to lift it off the ground. The reason I wanted to lift it off the ground was because of the transmitter hanging out the back here. Uh, I didn't want the antenna laying on the ground. Uh, the feet that are on there are just barely hey, has the PC board clear the ground. So the transmitter would be in the dirt and the antenna would be bending itself up. So I put the uh, temporarily permanent ballpoint legs. Um, I have the uh, mini IOSD uh, which uh, gives me all the pertinent information uh, for the flight. Here's the Mobius camera. I have the lens cap on. You'll see the blue tape on that uh, to remind me to take it off. And there, there is some jello in the video but this is not shockproof mounted. This is just velcro mounted. See the velcro there. Uh, there's, there's no other kind of shock, shock absorber other than just whatever the velcro provides. Yeah, there's some jello. It's not bad. Uh, I'll, I'll work on another mount uh, for that one. But the first flight went pretty good. Uh, everything is set up on it. The GPS antenna is about 30, 40, maybe 40 degrees, 35 whatever degrees uh, off. Uh, because of the polarity in our area here for the uh, earth magnetic stuff. Uh, there's the Turnigy 5000 milliamp 3 cell battery and the orange receiver that was $30 from Hobby King. Uh, it works. I got this because the um, the, the one I have from Spectrum is the 6210, I believe. It only has, when you power off, it only retains the throttle setting. So it would, uh, if it lost signal, it would just sit there and, and hover, probably slowly descend at 55% uh, throttle. But anyway, uh, I decided to try the orange receiver. Uh, and it and it works. Uh, it's got a programmed fail-safe loss of signal that returns to home. Uh, and I flip my uh, uh, return to home uh, fail-safe on the transmitter, and it returns home. And, but it, yeah, seems to work pretty good for a thirty-dollar receiver. Uh, and I may change my other one. This the DM uh, the uh, Spectrum uh, sixty-two ten. Uh, that was, I think, oh, about $70. Uh, twice as much as what this one is. I may just get another orange uh, D, 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 what do you call that? Uh, XR800, something like that, and put on the other one uh, just so I could have that signal loss return to home feature. Uh, I got some ideas to do to do a landing gear, but uh, well, it flies right now, and the ink pens keep it off the ground. That's all I wanted to do. Anyway, uh, and backing up a little bit, you can see my very cluttered workbench. Uh, serves my purpose anyway. All right, little guys.